Hit us up on Doc Rio TV. You know what time it is, folks. That's right. It's time for more Doc Rio reviews. This time, this is a second look, a second look on the Razer X Cruiser. Yes, I'm doing a second look, folks. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Now I know, I know, I know, I am on here without a shirt on, and that's because it is hot outside, folks. Welcome back, welcome back. I just had to say that right off the bat because people are probably like, why is he on camera without a shirt on? Well, it's hot outside, and I'm here to give you the skinny on the Razor X. You see what I did here? <laughs> I'm skinny, all right? Now, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm not as comical as I'd like to be. But let's get to the Razor X Cruiser. The Razor X Cruiser has a 125 watt motor and uses a 22 volt lithium ion battery that is UL2271 safety rated. It can go as fast as 10 miles an hour and go 40 minutes on a single battery charge. Someone who's skinny like me, it actually went about an hour and 15 minutes. It also comes with a wireless remote control and a charger. Oh, and it also comes with two AA batteries. So at least they give you batteries with it. But the problem is this 22 volt lithium ion UL2271 safety rated battery by LG. This is the biggest problem with this, this product right here. There's a whole bunch of information on how you're supposed to charge the battery. Like You're not supposed to charge it over 24 hours. After you get off the board, you're supposed to automatically charge it. Make sure you turn it off immediately after you get off the board. All these things that I'm talking about right here are described as reasons to make the battery die. All right, yeah, folks. So you got a little bit, uh, just a taste of this review. I'm not finished with it. I got more. I got more to talk about this battery, this battery on this Razer X Cruiser. But before I do that, I got to get down with the Doc Real Roll. If you want to reach me on Facebook, you can reach me on Doc.Rio. If you want to reach me on it's uh, Twitter. Twitter, that's who's next. Twitter, you can reach me at DocReal underscore TM. And if you want to reach me on Instagram, that picture spot, you can reach me at DocReal. And if you want to reach us, my team, staff, all of us, any of us, you can reach us on DocReal TV right there on YouTube. Then, if you really, really, really need to get a hold of us and you really, really, really need to sit down with us, do a needs assessment or anything that you would like to help your business grow, you can contact us right here on realbucks.com and we'll have some information set up for you. You can just call us, contact us, email us, send us. You know, you guys know where to find us. I'm getting out of here. Get back to this dang lesson. This is Doc. Yeah. The Let's problem this with lesson. this 22 volt lithium ion battery is that it comes with a whole bunch of charging specs that are really ludicrous. Now, the first thing I noticed is that it comes with this charger. And this particular charger right here has a little light on the back of it. So when you first plug it in the charge, it actually should show a red light on the back of this charger. When you first plug it in, it should show red, showing you that the battery needs a charge. No matter when the battery is charged or if it's not charged, it automatically should show you red. Then when the battery becomes charged, it automatically turns this red light into a green light. Now, the problem I had with the I bought two of these. As a matter of fact, there's another one in this box right here. As you see, I have two of these boards. All right? And so I did a test. I wanted to hold on to it to make sure that I knew that the battery would work. So I pulled the battery from the new one and used it in, in this secondary one. Now the battery worked fine at the very beginning. I followed the instructions. There are several instructions on how you're supposed to charge it. Like first, you're supposed to automatically make sure it's off when you're charging it. Second, whenever you stop writing the board, you gotta make sure it's, it's off. So you gotta turn it off immediately. Third, you should automatically charge it whenever you're not using the board. And you should constantly be charging it on a regular basis, but you can't let it charge over 24 hours. 
These are all these rules here that are, keep popping up, and they designed this board for children. The age bracket on this board, as it says, is nine and up, all right? I don't know too many nine-year-old children who will follow the charging practices listed on this device. I am an adult who follow the charging practices and use this board every single day as a test. I wanted to make sure that this particular board worked the way it said it would work for a certain amount of time and that it wasn't a fluke that the first board I had automatically died when I followed the battery charging protocols and make sure I extend the life of this particular device so I could use it for the whole semester. But what I found was that it doesn't matter. That even if you follow the charging techniques, this particular device, this particular battery dies. It's a piece of crap. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't need to buy this, especially for ages nine and up. This will not work for ages nine and up. This is a piece of crap, all right? I don't know what's going on with Razer. I don't know what the problem is. I know they're using the cheapest parts ever, but that's an LG lithium ion battery. I have shavers that last longer than that. I have so many other devices. I have vape batteries. I, I don't care what size our batteries are. I've been using lithium ion batteries for years. I've been using NICAD batteries. As a matter of fact, I worked in a place that replaced NICAD batteries and replaced lithium ion batteries. So I, I was actually trained on how long they should last. This battery that I just threw out sucks. Don't buy the Razer X. I'm telling you right now, do not buy this for your kid. Do not buy this for yourself until they fix this battery. Call me, Razor. If you got a problem with what I'm saying, send me a new battery. I bought two of your boards. They suck. I don't want to go through the phone call stuff. I don't want to go through the typing stuff. I'm going to buy a third one and show you that it sucks. Just to show you that it sucks. And I'm going to buy this one straight from like Walmart or straight from Amazon. No third-party salesman because the one I got from a third-party salesman that was new still, still didn't work. And they're gonna tell me, oh, it's a third party salesman and it takes about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 weeks to get a battery. By the time I get a battery, summer will be over. Don't buy it, folks. After my second look review, this is Doc. I had to rant on it, because it's just terrible. I know, folks, I got heated. I got heated. And that's what I mean by reviews. I'm gonna give you the, the hot, the skinny, and I'm gonna give you my pure feelings on it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you guys come back for more. But before I go, I gotta do the Doc Rear Roll. Make sure if you wanna reach us on Facebook, reach us at Doc Doc Rio. <laughs> and make sure if you wanna reach us on Twitter, reach us at Doc Rio underscore TM. And make sure if you wanna reach us on Instagram, the picture spot, you're gonna reach us at Doc Rio. And make sure if you wanna reach us on YouTube, you reach us on Doc Real TV. And if you need to reach us, you can reach us at realbugs.com. I'm crazy. Y'all know I'm crazy. And I'm going to go get in the pool. See y'all later. Peace.